What's going on everybody? Exploring with Griffin here. Today we're going to take a couple minutes and we're going to look at a couple of the serial killers of Gaffney, South Carolina. The town has been plagued by two different serial killers to do their toll on the town. I believe it was 30 years apart from each other. The Gaffney Strangler reigned his terror from 67 to 68. And then the, the second serial killer reigned his terror in 2009. Both of them lasted over, I believe it was nine months. This video is going to be split up into either two or three different parts. Part one and two will be of the Gaffney Strangler, also known as Leroy Martin. And the third part will be of the second serial killer or spree killer. I hope you enjoy the video. Remember knowledge is power. Don't forget to drop down, hit that like button and subscribe if you already have it. So it was in this location that they actually found the first body, but it was the second victim of the Gaffney Strangler. He called and told the, the writer to take out three pieces of paper and he would give him three stories. This was the first one that he told about and it was actually the first body they found. Now, the writer went over to the sheriff's office, got the sheriff, and him and the sheriff came out here, and they were thinking they would find a dog or a goat or something like that over in the water. Turns out it was a female's body. I'm not going to disclose any of the female's names. There was four victims in total. Now, the reason he, they called him the Gaffney Strangler was because he would strangle his victims and then rape them, in that order. So he would kill them, then rape them. I, I'm sorry, a lot of this, a little bit of this is graphic, but it is history. It's important that we know the history of the areas that we live in. And I like to bring all the history that I could find out to your doorstep and let you get that knowledge to empower yourself. I'm a strong believer and the more you know, the more you power yourself. Hence my saying, knowledge is power, never limit yourself. But we will be coming back here at night and we will be doing an EVP session to see if we can't make contact. So I hope you enjoy the video. Leroy Martin, the Gaffney Strangler, told the writer to look on the downside of this bridge and he would find the first body. So they came here. They parked. They walked over to the downside of the bridge And they looked over, thinking they would find a goat or a dog or something of that nature. But in the sand face down, they found the, the body of the second victim.
All right, so we're out here at night. I told you we come out and do the EVP session. This is the first place that they looked and the first body they found. I really don't want to say her full name, but her name was Nancy. And that's what we'll refer to her tonight as as well. You will see two of the places that the bodies were found. Two of the bodies were found out of the four. The other two places are both industrial parks and stuff nowadays. So they can't be accessed or accessed. Well, let's take a look and see what we can find. It's foggy out here too. Hello Nancy, are you out here with us tonight? bones or anything? Man, I'm sinking right here. Oh! I know why. You might want to watch it. We're going to get attacked by beavers. Mm -hmm. Look at it. It's where I seen somebody move, bro. Yeah, I just seen something again. Look out there. It's right between those trees where I'm shining. Nancy, are you here with us? If you are, we don't mean you any harm. So he would dump them somewhere where he could return. He would return and visit the bodies. They said that when they found her, she had only been dead a couple of days. That she had probably been dumped the night prior. Is anybody here with us tonight?
Nancy, are you here with us? We don't mean you any harm. What do you want to say? There's something. Is that you in the woods? Is Leroy Martin here with you? You don't have to fear him no more. So we've heard something since we got here. Number one thing I don't want is to be sprayed by a skunk. If you don't want to communicate, we'll leave you alone. Remote. What do you mean? Strange that birds and stuff for that one. Let's try a different app. Nancy, are you here with us? I just heard help. After help? Is he here with you? Help me again. Uh, 
Do you need help? Are you stuck? Do you want us to leave? I swear I just said no. I sound like a female. They were young girls, bro. 20 to 14. Yep. And they uh, they said that the the mill that he worked at that he was a, a real nice guy and. Yeah. The only way they caught him was his last victim. It, her sister would walk to the bus stop with her. And he, her sister was running late. And by the time her sister got there, she seen her sister being put into the trunk of a 57 Chevy. Uh, I can't remember exactly what kind of Chevy it was. But that's what gave them away. They started looking for the the Chevy and there was a couple of townspeople that tracked him down and they seen him uh, pulling up away from a place in Calpins. And I couldn't find the exact location in Calpins, but they said an isolated road down an old dirt road. And, you know, from the 60s to now, that road could be a, a paved road now. His address? I know exactly where it is. It's in town. Yep. Nope. It's abandoned. I had pictures of it. Hi. You can move on. You don't have to stay here. He got punished and died. He got killed in prison. That sounds like a, a guy. We're in the session. Speak now, forever rest in peace. <laughs> Goodbye. that he would dispose of the bodies in places where he could come back and visit them. Because he was coming back and sodomizing the girl's remains.
and they called him the Gaffney Strangler because he would take off his belt and strangle his victims and then rape them. And he would, uh, one of the, the ways that they knew that he worked in uh, one of the mills, one of the ways that they knew that he worked in one of the mills was he was taking bits of uh, twine and he would tie knots and he would leave the knots at the, the disposal site where he would leave his victims. Do what? Keepsake. I don't know if they found keepsakes on him or not, no, but the, 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 the knots they said was a, uh, a nervous reaction from like having a piece of twine in your hand and being nervous or anxious. And that was his, uh, kind of like smoking, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys. So that wraps it up for part one of the Gaffney Strangler. I went ahead and I divided it up into two different parts. The last part will be available this coming Wednesday. Definitely don't miss it. We visit the place where the third victim was found. And it... It ends up being freakier than Seven Devils Bridge when we went there. I hope you all enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see or any changes that you would like me to make. Remember, knowledge is power. Never limit yourself. Don't forget to drop down, hit that like button, and subscribe as well. Thank you all. Stay safe and keep exploring.